Cause I got something to prove I gotta take what I hate and finally make a move I think of you and all the shit you don't do Well I'ma make hella sh Hi there everybody Welcome back to Beekeeping in Paradise I'm not in my usual spot today I'm at my friend Julian's house I got a phone call or text message a little while ago saying help my bees are flying up they're in a tree they're starting to swarm so I came over to check it out and they sure are and they are all the way up there can't even see them from here but uh, that's a little too high for me to climb I know Julian doesn't want to go up there so uh, they're gone and we're gonna hope that uh, and pray that uh, uh, we might catch a break and get a little bit lucky. So what I did was I brought over an extra hive, just a single deep, set it down near where the other one was. And if they decide that they aren't happy living in a tree and they come back, maybe they can find a new home over here. And uh, I don't have high hopes for it, but uh, it, there's, there's always a chance. So, in, so what we're going to do instead today, we're going to take a look at his hive and we're going to try and find out why his bees swarmed and see if there's anything we can do to uh, help this situation. And uh, um, I'm just wearing a veil and I'm told that these have a grumpiness problem. So why don't we take a look here and we'll find out just what's going on all right so it's a you got a really nice setup here i like that so a little smoke at the door and julian's been taking good care of these bees they had it looks like they got plenty of space i can't really understand why they would want to swarm all of a sudden but uh they'll do that on you sometimes So we're going to come through and see what we can find. It says they're doing pretty good on hunting. try flipping that over let's make sure we don't have a queen on the other side there so Jillian how uh, how have you felt being a beekeeper this is your I know this is your first year yeah, I Are really you enjoying enjoyed it? it. I am enjoying it a lot. Uh, I didn't like it when I got stung uh, over the weekend. Uh, but aside from that, it's really been the first time they've been angry. That's part uh, of the game. Yeah. Uh, it's getting harder to, you know, keep, keep all the propolis off because mm -hmm. there's just so much of it now. And, uh, and, uh, I put these boxes up. This table is nice, but it's pretty high. Um, so getting the boxes off is trickier and trickier. Right. Um, it's all part of the learning curve. Yeah. And it looks like in this box down here, mm -hmm. there's a lot of honey. Okay, we'll take a look. How long have you had that top box on? Uh, just maybe a week okay, or 10 days, something like that. Yeah. And uh, the last time I took it off, uh, which is the day that they got pretty, uh, pretty, pretty angry. Mm -hmm. um, there was a ton of bees in here. Okay, so they they have been coming up yeah, working they, on it they were coming up and working on it 
but it didn't look like they had done much. Got plastic foundation, and that one, we're pretty close to the middle. It hasn't been drawn out yet. And I don't see too much comb in here yet. Yeah. So, okay. So, at least they've got space. All right, now, the fun one is this next one. Yeah. So, anything uh, that I should do when I take this next one off? Um, um, other than leave the propolis on there? Are you say, you think I should leave it on? Yeah. Doesn't that make it uh, more difficult to... Uh... It makes it a little bit more difficult, but propolis is really healthy for the bees. Oh, okay. It's, it's an anti... Uh, microbial antibacterial antiviral substance that okay. they put in there and it uh, blocks out bad pathogens and okay um it's medicine for them so i i like to i mean it's okay at the end of the season when you strip off your honey supers yeah. to clean them up so that they so that your frames will fit better but uh during the summer months uh I tend to leave it in there. It oh, gets okay. sticky and gummy, but uh, Got it. Okay. Well, it's that, not uh, that important to clean it out. This is really heavy. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Woo. This is looking nice. I can see right down between the frames that uh, there's a good amount of wax. And I see capped honey. Let's see if we can get a picture of some of this. So right now, there's a lot less activity than there was the last time I checked it um, over the weekend. My guess is that there's about half as many bees. Yeah. <laughs> Sure. Yes, that is awesome. Starting to get capped on that side. Fully capped on this side. You've definitely got yourself a honey crop there. And you've got this one is completely full. This one, they. It looks like you got an entire super that is completely full. Now, I think I'm starting to understand why these bees may have swarmed. Oh, yeah. Okay, my my theory on this is that because this was your this was your third box this 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 honey super was your third box. Yeah. When when they filled these two brood chambers, uh -huh. you got two deeps here. When these got filled, they they filled this with honey, and they thought that this was the roof. So even though you put another box on, yeah, they didn't recognize that top box as being available room they um that's weird because they that yeah there were a ton of bees on this fourth one in there right but the the issue could be the queen oh, not okay. recognizing that there was more room and okay. if she felt confined to those Got bottom it. ones and she thought that the whole cavity was full then uh um uh, she may have uh, you know it may have triggered her swarming instinct Oh, and decided, okay, okay we're, we're out of space, not realizing that there was a, a fourth floor. Okay. But that's, that's a theory. I didn't have a personal conversation with her before she left. All right. So, um, okay, now we'll, let's pull a couple of frames out of here. Okay. And see Start if... Near the edge? Sure. Pull okay. an edge one just to make some room. And then we'll pull up, we'll make some room and see what's going on kind of in the middle. We should see the edge couple of frames completely filled with honey. And uh, then the uh, 
inside frames, we should see some evidence of uh, brood. I'm having a hard time getting this off. Here, you want to try this one? Try this J-hook tool. Okay. So That's a neat one. There you go. You just lever it over, and then it gives you an opportunity to pinch it with your fingers, and then put it in over on this other side. still some room to go on the outside but this other side is completely full you got a quart of honey sitting right there on that one half of that frame that's a quart of honey on this side right okay. just about yeah you know. wow okay so put that one off to the side like on the mm -hmm. on right on the table tilt it up uh there you go and just like rest mm -hmm. it like that yep okay okay now you got room and we don't have to remove a lot of frames but we can separate them and look down the seams and this is a frame that is completely filled with honey you might have better luck with that tool if okay. you uh, put, put it in this way and twist rather than okay. put it in this way and got it, it you get better yeah uh, yeah that looks oh. like it's capped honey as well. You got capped honey on both sides of this. Now, this one. Again. There you go. Now. Oh my gosh. Okay. Now, what we've got here is a lot of honey. Yeah and some open cells that have had brew, brood mm -hmm. and we've got some drones okay the drones are the ones that stick out right right they're the they're the big fat ones there okay do you see any open larva um this other side looks to be all nectar over here even in the open cells. So this is capped mm -hmm. honey and nectar and drone cells? Right. And I don't see, you don't see any uh, little curly worms in there? I don't. Uh, okay. So, all right, that's hint number one. Okay, we want to be able to find uh, brood in all stages. Mm -hmm. Try that one again. Sure. open brood, just some drones and nectar in the, you see how, how dark those cells are? Yeah. And you can see they do, there is some emerging brood, some capped brood in there, uh -huh. uh, but I don't see any that's capped brood right there. Right. That's capped worker brood. And we'll slide this back down. So I'm looking for evidence of queen cells so if we find um, open brood mm -hmm. then uh, we'll know that the queen has been here within the past few days okay and oh if we don't then we'll know that it's been maybe 20 days since she's been here and that more than likely, yeah, uh, we've got drones and some sealed worker brood, no open brood hmm. at okay. all. Okay, we may want to 
um, because it's getting late in the day and uh, you say that uh, they've had an attitude problem yeah let's go to the bottom box okay oh let's put let's put this one back together all right let's smoke if we got them mediums <laughs> yeah. okay all right let's smoke these down a little bit um, yeah they're loud I'm gonna try and do this as quickly and smoothly as we can so we don't make anybody too grumpy They've drawn out the wax, so they've been doing their job there. Okay, yeah, we can just bump them down a little bit. Okay. Make a little room. bit on the bottom mm -hmm. and let's see if I tilt it up we got some pollen a little bit of open nectar in there and at, when I'm down this far what I'm looking for on the bottom is I'm looking for queen cells mm -hmm. that may have emerged recently now that's a bunch of kind of a little bit of mess though down there mm -hmm. but those are not queen cells, that's just drone comb. Um, there's a queen cup, but it's dry, it's empty. Where's the queen cup? Right down on the bottom there. Uh, what, um, what are we looking at? Just this one right here. Okay. It's just, uh, it's hanging down off the bottom. Yeah. And uh, there's nothing, it, it, when I say it's dry, I mean there's, there's no royal jelly inside and there's no egg in it. Okay. So that was not really intended to be a queen cell. It's just a, a cup that they could have used if they wanted to go that way. So. Yeah, let's check another one. Uh, a little more smoke, please. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Well, they get a good whiff of it. been there for 19 20 days already okay um, when it's at this stage and uh, that is not going to be much of a boost to the hive when that emerges 
Um, so. Come over here. And we'll, we're going to take a look at some of the fresher wax. Mm -hmm. uh, Queens, and I discussed this in my last video, Queens really like fresh wax. And I can tell which are the combs that came from the nuke that you bought mm -hmm. and which ones they've drawn out new. Um, so you can tell which ones are going to have the fresher wax. And do you see any open larva? Oops, sorry. I don't see any. And we're gonna we're gonna cheat a little bit and look at the bottom of the box in its entirety all at the same time. Okay. Let's crack this open down here. Okay. And what we're gonna do is from the back over here. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna tilt this up. I'm gonna inspect the bottom. This is going to give us a chance to uh, look for, and then we'll, we'll smoke the bees off of here. Smoke them off the bottom. Yeah, you have to give them quite a bit. And we're looking at all that messy comb, yep. and we're looking up through the seams looking for any queen cells. And I, I think I see one. Okay. Um, on this second frame over here. Okay. I got a, I got a pretty good look. All right. Let's see if we can get this out. Whew. They are not happy. Okay. A little bit careful. There's a queen cell. Uh, that right there? Oh. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can get that on camera. Okay. Right over here. We've got a queen cell. So the hive is not hopelessly queenless. It's just really important that we put this back <laughs> very gently um, so that we don't mess it up now right now we've looked at this and you have no open brood which means you do not have a queen okay um, and you need one but um, your queen it looks like has blown off and now that's why that is going to explain why they're grumpy okay okay so and that also explains why they swarmed or they went the queen led the swarm generally the queen will lead the swarm and she'll she'll take half of the population or a good number of the population with her so we can be pretty certain that there's no queen in here just because of the lack of brood at okay. this point okay. um, but you have another queen on the way so there's no point to panic oh. I can see why you like to clean the problem so maybe just hey you want me to help you got it or? yeah please help me <laughs> all right <laughs> that is way crazy heavy okay one two okay all right that's together now um this is good news but uh what we're I think what we should do right now is reverse these boxes. Okay. Put your full super on the top. 
and put your empty super underneath. Oh, okay. And that way the bees can access it that much quicker. Okay. And easier. So, uh, how do we want to do that? I'll pick up the super okay. of honey. <laughs> it's heavy. Yeah. Okay. And put that one up there. And you got the lid. And you got your inner cover. Oh, no. <laughs> Well, the good news about having this in this uh, situation is any bees you squish, you know you're not squishing a queen. <laughs> so, well, there's still a bit of a mystery, but uh, at least we've got a got a good look. Satisfied your curiosity, right? You got to go all the way to the bottom, which you said you couldn't do last weekend. That's right. Yeah. Um, and it does look like this hive is queenless at the moment. And I only saw the one queen cell. Generally, if they're going to swarm, they'll make a, a number of them. And uh, so it's possible that the queen got squished or just uh, didn't make it. Hmm. And... But the good news is you've got a good, healthy-looking queen cell in there. Okay. And uh, within the next 10 days, um, or actually within the next week, that cell should hatch out. It was in the number two frame over on the bottom box. Mm -hmm. And uh, she'll fly out, get mated. you got lots of drones there. you got lots of drones at my hives. See, our two, our two yards are close enough together that we're going to be sharing drones and sharing genetics uh, so we're gonna head there's a good number of drones in the area good number of genetics so you've got a very good chance of getting her mated and having her return so nothing to be too upset about or too worried and uh, that's another bee adventure so these things happen nothing I mean you're, you're doing everything right uh, you got plenty of boxes stacked on they should have recognized that they had more room but uh, uh, I think the grumpiness is just due to the fact that uh, they're apparently queenless right now so as soon as they fix that problem in the next two weeks you will notice a night and day difference okay. and honestly they were not that bad uh, I was in there gloveless with just a veil and never had I didn't, and it's late in the day, so and I didn't get a sting, so okay. um, I don't think they're too bad. Okay. So, well, thank you for having me out, Julian. Yeah. I really appreciate it. I appreciate and um, all right, um, remember, I oh, can't see. So, wherever you are in the world, if you've got bees, you're beekeeping in paradise. I'm Brent. Please subscribe to the channel. Be safe, be well, God bless, and I'll talk to you soon.